Hey guys, what's up? And in this video, I want to show you guys an awesome program I found out about, also known as Filmora. Filmora is an amazing video editor for beginners, experts, and everyone in between. Now, as you guys probably know, I already did a couple of videos in the past regarding Filmora around the basics and how to use it. So if you guys want to check out those videos, I'll make sure to drop a link to those in the description down below. Anyways, in this video, I want to cover the top five brand new features that Filmora added with the brand new version, Filmora 7. Point eight. Number one being advanced color editing, number two pan and zoom, number three save customized text, number four is new transition controls, and number five is ripple delete. These five features are com gonna completely transform the way you make videos, and I'm pretty sure after watching this video you guys are gonna be super convinced to getting this program, but if you guys are already convinced right now, simply click the link in the description down below and you guys can get yourself a free trial for Formora, so you guys can check it out, see how it works, and then you can buy the full version which is super cheap. And of course, with the brand new version, Filmora actually launched a brand new effect pack, which is the gaming effect pack, which I will definitely showcase in this video for you guys. This gaming effect pack includes 16 music tracks, 15 different elements, 5 overlays, 19 titles, 11 transitions, and 2 filters for the cheap price of $14.99. And if you guys want to buy the program and a little bundle that comes with the gaming effect pack, I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description down below as well, so you guys can check it out and get both of them for a cheaper price. Anyways, with that being said, let's Let's go and get right into it. So right now we are inside Filmora and I want to show you guys all the features with a little bit of a live demonstration and show you guys how it's going to work. So the first feature we're going to be taking a look at today is the advanced color editing feature. So all you guys need to do is to get yourself started. I'm going to be using some Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto Online gameplay for this example. So you want to drag in your gameplay right here. And then as you guys can see, if you update the latest version of Filmora, you're going to be able to see of this little palette icon right here. It says advanced color or color tuning. So what you want to do is click that and then you're going to have a few different types of settings. You either have preset or adjust. So preset is pretty much like preset little color filters that Filmora and Wondershow work together to pretty much get you guys. So they're pretty cool. You can double click to see what they look like and you can also save them as preset if you would like. So you can obviously scrub through your video, see how it's going to look. And then right here is adjust. So this is some pretty advanced stuff right here. And as you guys can see, you can pretty much change your temperature, tint, and then you have a few different settings for both of these. So you have 3D LUT, color, light, HSL, and Vigente. So you pretty much have both of those. And of course, there are a bit, a lot of options here, so you can see side-by-side -side comparisons. And overall, they have so many different options in terms of this. And when they mean advanced color tuning, it is really advanced. And this is some stuff that professionals use inside like programs such as Adobe Premiere and other programs that cost way more money than Filmora. So this is really cool that they're bringing it. So I'm going to pick one right now that doesn't change the gameplay around too much. So... Let's see what we can do right here. So I'm really digging this epic one. It looks a lot better and it makes stuff a little bit more saturated. So we're going to click OK and that's going to be applied to our clip right there. So there you go. That is pretty much advanced color tuning. Again, there are four different types of presets in the templates. There is common, film, Vigente and 3D LUT as well as the adjust section where you can pretty much make your own custom presets. So the next feature I'm going to be showing you guys today is pan and zoom. So pan and zoom is a really cool feature that works for, for both videos and photos. And basically what it allows you to do is pretty much change the aspect view of your video and photo. Let me show you guys what that means. So what you want to do is, as I did before, drag your video or photo into the timeline. And then right here, you're going to find the old good crop and zoom feature. And then you're going to click that. And there is actually a new tab now called pan and zoom. So we're gonna click that, and as you guys can see here, there are a ton of settings. So right here, it auto detects your little resolution, and basically what you do is you change the boxes, and then you set it to what direction you want it to go. So right here, I have it, so pretty much when it goes throughout the video, it's gonna change the direction. So as you guys can see, while this is moving, the actual camera angle is moving. So. For example, again, you can completely do this manually and you can change your aspect ratios. But for this example, for this video, as you guys can see here, as I'm going to scrub through the video timeline, as you can see, it goes from the top left corner to the bottom right corner because of my cropping. Again, if you want to reset everything, you just go here, click OK, and there you go. You got your normal aspect ratio back. And the next feature I'm going to be showing you guys today is how you can save customized text. 
So throughout the updates, Filmora actually added a ton of features that you can use to pretty much get yourself a whole bunch of little settings for your text that are super customizable. So as you guys can see here, we're just going to grab a random little text thing. So for example, let's just grab this one. I'm not going to really fool around with the text here, but what do you guys want to do to save your preset is double click on the text. And of course you can edit it here and do all your usual stuff, animation and all that good stuff. But right here, they added a button called save as preset, and then you can save that preset. You can name it. And what that's basically going to do is save all your settings from advanced settings over here, which is a ton of settings to your basic settings. So you can pretty much reuse the same preset every time and save yourself a whole bunch of time while editing. And probably out of all the features I'm going to be showing you guys today, this is one of my favorites because it saves time while editing because the less time you spend on editing means the more time you can actually create content that will be up on the internet or whatever you want to put it. So overall, this is a great feature and I highly recommend you guys check out Filmora because this is what makes Filmora so great. All these little updates that make your life so much easier. So the next feature I'm going to be showing you guys today is the brand new way that you can customize your transition controls. So right here, we're going to just drag in a random clip of GTA 5. We're going to shorten it up a bit and we're going to drag another clip. Let's shorten that one up a bit. And what we're going to do is add a transition to that. So we're of course going to go over to transitions. And just for example sake for this video, we're going to just use the bar transition. And we're going to drag that in right here. And in order to get to the brand new transition controls, you're going to double click on the transition and it's going to bring you to this page. So right here you have your duration where you can change the duration of how long you want the little transition to be and you can also apply it to all the transitions throughout your whole video and then right here you have a few different types of transition modes so you have overlap which i have right now you have prefix which is before postfix which is after i usually used overlap because that is sort of in the middle but if you for some reason you need to use this or this there you go and also you have whenever there is not enough media what you want it to do so let's say you don't have enough frames to pretty much complete it you can pretty much tell what to do instead of it guessing what you want it to do because i think instead of the program guessing what you want it to do i think it should ask you beforehand like it does here so you have all over the control of your video instead of the program just guessing what you want so there you go, those are the brand new transition controls inside the brand new version of Filmora. And overall, I think it is a great improvement with those little settings that make such a big difference. And one of the last features I'm going to be showing you guys today is how you can use the new ripple delete function. Now, this is for sure one of the most powerful functions that Filmora has added with this new update. And basically what it is, is it allows you to delete clips that have to do with pretty much what you're doing. So. Right now, we have ripple delete off right now, and basically I'm going to show you guys what's going to happen. So, we're going to add a filter right now, and we're just going to add that to the video. So, as you guys can see, we have a filter on the video, and basically what's going to happen is we're going to shorten them up both. And when I want to delete one thing, it's not going to delete the other thing, which is pretty much, sometimes people don't like that. Sometimes people just want to delete both clips because they think, why do I have to delete one and then the other one just stays there? So that is why Ripple Delete comes in. So in order to set Ripple Delete on, you're going to go right here, you're going to click it and wait till those two things are like not straight like that. And basically what's going to happen is whenever you want to delete two things at once that are together, you're just going to click one, you're going to press delete, and they're both going to go away. So that's where the name comes from. It's ripple delete. So as soon as you would delete one thing, it's going to ripple delete everything else. So it's going to ripple along, see what's with it, and then delete those things as well. Again, super powerful tool. It is completely optional. Again, the tool to turn it on right here is if it's straight, it's off. If it's like this, then it's on. And the last function I'm going to be showing you guys today is actually not a new function, but Wondershare reached out to me and they said, a lot of people have been asking how to do this. I'm going to be showing you guys right now how to do it. So this pretty much allows you to record your screen and import it right into Filmora. So if you guys did not know this and not a lot of people do, that Filmora actually has a built-in screen recorder, which is awesome. So to get to it, you're going to go over to your media tab. You're going to head over to record. Then you're going to head over to record PC screen. You're going to click that. And that's going to open up their little recorder thing. So right here we have my microphone. As you can see, my voice coming through. We have the speakers. And then right here we have some more settings, including like master cursor style, the little window style, and pretty much what it's going to look like. So we're going to set custom, for example. Going to go like this. And then we're going to record. And then it's going to give us a little nice countdown timer. And then pretty much it says press F9 to stop recording. So we're going to pretty much go on. And instead of pressing F9, I'm just going to make sure that I stop it like this. 
And then as soon as I stop, it's going to go right there. And then it's going to go right back into Fomora. And then I can drag it in. And there you guys go. That is pretty much the way the Fomora screen recorder works. And overall, I think it is a great little tool built right in. So you don't need any more special little programs. And it's built right into Fomora right there for you to use instantly. And of course, as I touted in the intro, I'm going to be showcasing the brand new gaming effect pack that Filmora added with the brand new update. And that is available on the Filmora effect store. And as always, if you guys want to get this effect, effect pack for your version of Filmora, I'll make sure to leave a link to it in the description down below so you guys can download it today. Anyways, this gaming effect pack contains 16 music elements, 15 elements, 5 overlays, 19 titles, 11 transitions, and 2 filters. So let's get things started by listening to the music. Again, I'm not going to go through everything that is added, but if you guys want to get yourself it for a little bit of a $14.99 price tag, which is really, really small for something that gives you so much, you guys can click the link in the description down below and try it out for yourself. But anyways, let's head over to music and we're going to head over to 8-Bit Gamers and let's take a look at this one. Okay, pretty cool stuff. And let's check out one more. So again, gaming style effect pack right there. Let's head over to text and credit and let's go over to 8-bit gamers. So this is actually pretty cool. Look at this one. So you can pretty much change the text all over the, like that is pretty cool right there. So here's another one that says game over. So let's, I, I kind of like this one the most to be honest with you. So let me, let me put this one into, let me just put this one right here and we're going to play around with it. So. Let's go here, and as you guys can see, there are so many things that you can customize here, so I honestly just want to customize the text if I can do that, so let's just make this say Jeff, and then I don't really like the, I mean, we can have those blocks there, I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest with you, and I mean, we could have the blocks up here, I guess, I mean, not a big fan again, uh, and then we can put it down here again, super customizable, so Let's see how that looks. So we got the blocks rating down, then we got here, and then we got Jeff. So I kind of like that. Again, super customizable stuff right here, and you can pretty much change everything inside there. Again, just showing a few more things. You got your title elements, and also don't forget, you got some lower thirds as well. And again, everything in this gaming effect pack is of course gaming themed. Let's head over to transitions, which there are 11 transitions with this little gaming effect pack. So we got one right here, and I believe I just imported it automatically. So let's take a look while we're at it. So really cool stuff right there. And let's just take a look at a few more. So we got this one, which is block out. And one more, let's take a look at aliens. Pretty cool stuff right there. Let's head over to filters where there are only two filters with this gaming effect pack, but they're pretty cool. We got pixelate. And we got another pixelate, so I guess one is a little bit more overpowering than the other. There are five overlays currently with this brand new gaming effect pack. So there is Winner, which is a little sparkle. We got Squiggles, Victory, Button Masher, which is probably my favorite, and Space Debris, which is pretty cool. In terms of elements, there are 15 elements, so there's quite a lot. And as you guys can see, they're all kind of pixelated, which pretty much goes along with the theme. So we got this little bonus apple. Pixel Nova, Bonus Key, Bonus Orange, and a whole bunch of other stuff, a whole bunch of like little alien stuff. So there you go, just to conclude the new gaming effect pack, we got 16 new musics, 15 elements, 5 new overlays, 19 new title elements, 11 transition elements, and 2 filters. Now, I do want to show you guys, again, pretty much everything we looked at, so we got the music, text, transitions, filters, overlays, and elements. So you, there you guys go. That is pretty much the gaming effect pack for for more. Again, it is $14.99 and you also get a discount on it if you order it with Filmora. So if you want to get both of these together, you get a discount for that. So I'll make sure to leave a link to those all in the description down below so you guys can get yourself the gaming effect pack plus Filmora or just each separately. Whatever fits your choice. Again, you can pretty much choose whatever floats your boat. Again, you can buy them separately or you can buy them together for a little bit of a lower price. So that is probably going to wrap up this 
video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below. Just to cover again, basically what e whatever I went over in this video, I went over five brand new features and six features that I want to show you guys in Filmora. Number one being advanced color editing. Number two being pan and zoom. Number three being save customized text. Number four is being new transition controls. And number five being ripple delete. And number six being the feature that not a lot of people know about, which is that you can record your screen right inside Filmora. And of course, I showed you guys the brand new gaming effect pack, which includes 16 new music elements, 15 elements, 5 overlays, 19 titles, 11 transitions, and 2 filters. So that's going to wrap it up. You guys can download Filmora and the Gaming Effect Pack or those together by simply clicking the link in the description down below and that will take you right to Wondershare's website. But anyways, that is going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you made it to the end, I really appreciate ya. And I'll be sure to see you guys in my next video.